What's up everyone? It's Emma from Sleep Advisor. You know, shopping for a mattress nowadays is a lot different than it was even just 10 years ago. You've got latex mattresses, inner spring mattresses, hybrids, memory foam, air foam, polymer. It can be super overwhelming to even know where to start. Well, that's where we come in. We're here to make your life easier. In this video, we're going to be comparing the two most popular types of beds, memory foam and hybrid. So you'll know which is the right one for you. Kind of like the Tinder of mattresses. We'll tell you everything you need to know before you go out and waste your time on a first date. Memory foam is made out of polyurethane and was actually developed by NASA back in the 1960s. They developed it to improve the safety of aircraft cushions. However, memory foam beds majorly rose in popularity with the launch of Beds in a Box. When we're referring to memory foam beds, we're really talking about any mattress with only foam in its construction, not just memory foam. That can include polyurethane foam, or polyfoam, and latex foam. Now, generally speaking, these beds have a slow response. It's what gives you that sinking into bed feeling. Hybrids, on the other hand, have more bounce and response because they're constructed with coils. Usually, hybrids are built with foam layers on top, which can include memory foam and an inner spring system on the bottom. These are much more similar to a traditional mattress that you probably grew up sleeping on, but with extra comfort measures because of the foam on top. Now, speaking of foam, there's a lot to love about it and a lot of reasons why it's a top choice for a mattress. Memory foam is the king of pressure relief, or queen, we don't really discriminate. Its pressure relieving qualities are unmatched, which is awesome for side sleepers and people who struggle with joint pain. Now, I often sleep on my side and I love memory foam because it's soft around my shoulders and hips and I don't wake up feeling sore in the morning like I would on a firmer material. Now, have you ever woken up from your partner tossing and turning throughout the night? Memory foam mattresses are killer at isolating motion. So even a middle of the night bathroom trip shouldn't disturb your slumber. Foam beds are also super flexible, easy to move, and usually a lot lighter than their hybrid counterparts, depending on the foam density. And last, memory foam beds are generally more affordable because the materials are cheaper than inner springs. A few downsides of memory foam. It tends to trap heat. Lots of brands have figured out ways to mitigate this problem by infusing their foam with gel or copper, but they still tend to sleep a little bit warmer than a hybrid. You also might feel stuck on a memory foam bed, especially if you struggle with mobility problems or if you're on the heavier side. It's a natural byproduct of the sinking into bed. Sometimes you sink a little too much. And memory foam is less durable of a material and tends to sag over time, depending on the density and the quality of the foams being used. Now, moving over to hybrids. They usually sleep cooler because the coils are more breathable than foam. Air is able to move through the materials more quickly, dispersing your body heat better than a dense foam could. Now, hybrids also tend to be more supportive than foam beds, which is better for heavier weight sleepers. They're also more adaptable and comfortable for a wide range of sleeping positions. This makes it ideal for couples or combination sleepers. And adding to that, they're usually more durable than memory foam because they're constructed with strong steel coils. On the flip side, hybrids do have some drawbacks. They're bouncier and have a harder time isolating motion. You might see companies try to address this problem by individually wrapping their coils, which does help with the issue. Ultimately though, memory foam mattresses win in this area. Another thing, hybrids are usually more expensive than all foam beds. The materials cost more upfront, but 
like I mentioned previously, they do generally last longer. So maybe you're sitting there wondering, which one should I choose then? Well, everyone has their own preferences. But generally speaking, you should pick a memory foam bed if you like sinking into the bed. If you like the feeling of being hugged or slowly sinking into a bed, a memory foam mattress is going to give you just that. Side sleepers should love memory foam beds because they're by far the best for relieving pressure. If you're a side sleeper who tends to feel pain in your shoulders or your hips or even your back, memory foam might be a winner for you. And finally, light sleepers. If you share a bed with a partner and movement wakes you up during the night, definitely check out memory foam. Okay, so now you should look at a hybrid if you are a hot sleeper. Hybrids are generally more breathable because they can disperse heat better than dense foam can. No more waking up in hot sweats because of your mattress. If you prefer a responsive mattress or have mobility problems, a hybrid might be the right pick for you. They're much easier to adjust on and you don't get that stuck feeling that you might get on a memory foam bed. Which leads me to my next point. Combination sleepers might prefer a hybrid, not only because it's easier to readjust sleeping positions on the surface, but also because they're more versatile. They have a good balance of comfort and support, which works well for most sleepers. Hopefully we helped narrow down your options and you figured out which bed is right for you. If not, no worries. We have tons more information on our website, sleepadvisor.org, where we actually have our top picks for the best memory foam and the best hybrid mattresses. We'll put the link to those in the description below. Anyways, we'll see y'all next time.